Schroeder's patented filtration station, or FS, is capable of flushing, filtering, monitoring, isocode cleanliness, and user-defined features. The FS utilizes two K9 filters in series for stage particulate and or water removal. The FS comes with many great components. Besides the two K9 filters, it also comes with a pump that's either fixed at 9 GPM or variable at 3 to 8 GPM. It also comes with a strainer to protect the particle monitor from clogs. Also provided with testmate contamination monitor or the TCM, an optional testmate water sensor or TWS. The TCM and TWS readouts can easily be viewed from their convenient locations on the dashboard. Also, the dashboard you'll see an emergency stop. As the name implies, if you ever have to stop the unit immediately, press this button. The knob next to that allows you to control whether the unit is off or on in auto mode or hand mode. We'll go into further detail on what this means later. On the far right hand side of the dashboard is an optional flow knob. This will only show up on the carts with the variable speed pumps. This controls how many gallons per minute are flowing into the unit. The filtration station also comes with the Flumo software for easy viewing of the data on your personal computer. The FS gives you real-time monitoring of fluid cleanliness and water contamination levels. It is user programmable and automatically shuts down when the program's ISO codes are met. It includes a USB port for easy viewing of data on your personal computer. The FS can also work as a transfer cart with the flip of a bypass valve located towards the bottom of the cart. The FS is extremely portable. It has a rugged semi-pneumatic tires and a single lift point for easy transportation. A removable plastic drip pan on the bottom of the unit catches any fluid that might have accidentally spilled. Start by placing the wands in the reservoir. Do not just place the wands straight in. They should be in a crisscross like X. This creates turbulence, ensuring that the particulate mixes in the fluid and doesn't remain on the bottom. If the opening is too narrow for you to make an X, offset the wands by placing one wand higher than the other. Once the unit is plugged in and ready to go, set the ISO codes. First, press the escape key to access the display manual. Second, press the right arrow key until the display reads switch out and press OK. The screen will read M3, now press OK. Press the right arrow until the display reads target and press OK. The display will read the default co ISO codes. Change value up or down using the plus and minus keys. Move to the next digit using the arrow keys. Once the desired target is set, press OK. Press the escape key three times until the display reads save. Press OK and the new target ISO code is set. It is imperative that you bleed the air out of the filter housings before running the cart. Unscrew the bleed ports on the top of the filters, connect supplied hoses, and allow the air to release. To start the filtration process, select either hand or auto mode. In hand mode, also known as manual mode, you will have continuous filtration regardless of the ISO codes. The cart will not automatically shut down. Auto mode means the filtration will only run until the program ISO codes are met. Maintenance on the FS is minimal. A pop-up indicator on the top of the filter shows when the element needs servicing. This eliminates the guesswork about when you need to change your elements. The only other periodic maintenance for this unit is the occasional cleaning of the suction strainers located here. If you are experiencing erratic particle counts, there are several possible causes. Most notably, too much air or too much water. If you've checked both of these, the problem is possibly a blockage somewhere in the line. Please remove hoses and flush. The TCM will display a flashing status light, which represents several possible errors in the system. Please see the manual for the complete list. The most common are the number 2 and the word low, which means that not enough fluid is passing through the sensor to get an accurate reading. The number 2 and the word high is the opposite. This means too much fluid is running through the sensor. A check indicates there is no flow through the sensor at all. 
Make sure everything is connected properly. If all lines are secure, check for blockages in the supply line. The FS has many applications in the field including in-plant service. Using the FS can extend the life of components and the hydraulic fluid life in the plant. This saves you money. Mobile dealer networks. This aids in certified rebuilds, service maintenance contracts and total maintenance and repair programs. Original equipment manufacturer. The FS can help meet required roll-off cleanliness levels. Lubricant reclaiming and recycling. Clean oil to extend oil life and reduce hazardous waste. This is not only environmentally sound, it saves you money. The FS is available in three voltages, 120 volt by 60 Hz, 220 volt by 60 Hz, or 220 volt by 50 Hz. It is available in seal materials, Buna for standard fluids, or Viton for phosphate esters fluids. The unit can come with a water sensor, Schroeder's reliable test mate water sensor, the TWS. It comes in two different sizes of pumps, fixed 9 gallon per minute or variable 3 to 8 gallon per minute. Our first success story involves an energy company in West Virginia. They are experiencing excessive water in their boiler feed water pump with a 400 gallon reservoir. They spoke with the Schroeder rep who suggested trying the FS. The starting ISO code class was 1918-16. After two hours with the FS, the ISO code was 13, 12, and 9. After just two hours of using the FS, the boiler feed pump met the desired ISO codes. Another success story comes from a windmill manufacturer. The oil system used to fill the wind turbine was 100% contaminated with water, which caused premature failure of all components. Taking the rotor to a repair shop would have cost the company over $1 million in terms of repair time, downtime, transportation, and labor costs. The filter cart, along with Schroeder's dehydrator, the Triton E, made this unnecessary. Within eight days, the windmill's ISO and saturation levels were in an acceptable range according to the OEM's oil specifications. For more information, please visit our website at www.schroederindustries.com.